what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel it is your boy Sonny and I am back with part three of the series um, we're kicking in part three off with the tale of Sensei Ikasawa um, thank you guys for stopping in and showing so much support so far. I truly appreciate it And if you haven't already go ahead and smash that like button leave a comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend um, Nonetheless, Jin has been going through so much struggles um, So far it's amazing that he's even able to continue on feeling guilty about the death of his father Not being able to help him his uncle being kidnapped as well as having to break his own samurai code to help someone else's family um, but nonetheless, I'm not going to take too much more of you guys' time. We're going to hop right into things, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Yoshi Springs. 
Perhaps someone at the inn can direct me to Sensei Ishikawa. I work metals, woods, and cloth. I'm sorry. I need more for that. I'll see you again. I look forward to hearing of your victory. Perhaps I can better your bow. You don't have a bow? I lost mine at Komodo Beach. I'd give you one if I had it. Though, if Sensei Ishikawa is alive, I hear he has a fine collection of weapons. Bring one to me, and I'll make sure it's in the best possible condition. Have you seen the birds, Lord Sakai? What birds are you looking for? The golden ones. Songs that remind you of more peaceful times. Ah. Oh. They were my mother's favorite. She used to say they knew our island better than any other creature. I believe it, my lord. And if it weren't so dangerous, I'd follow one. See where the golden bird leads me. Maybe I'll do just that. But you should wait until our home is safe once more. I will, Lord Sakai. Thank you. Would you like to see what I have? What's up, guy? You survived the invasion? So far. Have we met before? Uh, no, my lord. But I watched you ride into battle. Please accept this gift. If you wear it, they say a spirit will lead you to whatever you're looking for. Sounds like something you could use yourself. Not with Mongols prowling the countryside. But if it leads you to any flowers, bring them to me. Or other traders. We can use them to fashion dyes. I'll remember that. Thank you. You can bring more, it's yours. You have my thanks. A samurai? Arrive? I'm looking for Sensei Ishikawa. I thought he fell at Komoda. He didn't. Where is his dojo? To the forest. I can show you the way, my lord. Did the sensei not fight at Komoda? No. He came to town for surprise the day before the invasion. 
Hardly spoke a word, but he's always been a private man. My lord, are the stories of Sensei Ishikawa true? What stories? They say he sank a pirate ship with a single arrow. <laughs> Not the ship, but he shot a pirate captain from the shore, routed the whole fleet. I'd hate to cross an archer like that. Do you deserve death? I hope not, my lord. Then you're safe from Ishikawa. The Sensei's dojo is up there on the cliff. Thank you. I'll take it from here. One more question, my lord. May I ask why the sensei left his post as archery master to clan Nagao? No one knows. Strange. Giving up service to a great lord for... this. Sensei Ishikawa's dojo. There was a struggle here. Better look around. Dried blood. The fight wasn't recent. Someone was wounded. Remove the arrow. Bloody footprints. The victim or the attacker. Maybe the sensei is in his house. Humble home for a samurai. Don't move, Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. <laughs> you survived Komoda. We could have used your bone. I was on my way when bandits attacked me. Expecting them to return? A samurai is never caught by surprise. I'm sorry about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Try and keep up, Sakai. Who else made it out of Komuda? No one knows. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? I don't know yet. You'd better find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. I can help track your student. I need no help tracking Tomoe. Tomoe? A woman? From what clan? No clan. 
A peasant. But she can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even you, Sakai. The last time I saw you was ten years ago. You came to study with me. You remember? I remember most of the students I reject. Instead, you took this Tomoe as your student. You showed promise. Tomoe is a prodigy. Mongols, take them. Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. <laughs> the moist trail picks up here. Come! The Mongols took Fort Nakayama. That patrol likely came from there. That's close to the hot springs. The town will be the next to fall. Something happened here. An ambush. Look around. Blood. But not much. No one died. <laughs> A Japanese quiver. A gift to my greatest student. Rice and millet. Left uneaten. The attack was sudden. I fear the worst. The Moya would never leave the quiver behind. Unless she was pursued. Or captured. To what end? Interrogation. Torture. Worse. They may be doing the same to Lord Shimura. Fear is a weapon, Sakai. Do not let the Mongols use it against you. Your student. Where would they take her? Fort Nakayama. The fort is nearby. I should have fought at Komoda with you. Better you didn't. We lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. I saw it with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Stop here. We need to talk. What's wrong, Sensei? This bow was a gift to me from Lord Nagao many years ago. It's a beautiful weapon. Of course it is. And there's nothing more painful to me than a perfect bow ineptly used. Then it's a good thing you're giving it to me. <sighs> Who said anything about giving? Prove you can shoot straight. I'll let you borrow it. Try it out before we go into battle. Aim for that lamp closest to us. <laughs> now the one further down the road, on the left. Not bad. Let's see if you can hit the one furthest away. The further the target, the more your arrow drops. 
Focus, Sakai. I'm getting used to the grip. <sighs> Don't make me regret this. I'd hate to add to such a long list. How does it feel? Like it was made for me. It wasn't. So take good care of it. Let's go. A bow like this would have helped at Komodo. It is a good bow. But victory is won by warriors, not weapons. You haven't seen the Mongols fire weapons. They have not yet won. Fort Nakayama. I hope your student is inside. We'll get a better look at the defenses from up there. Uh, this spot is perfect. I'll find a way in. Open the gate. Do we hit them? Do you always charge into battle with your Hakama half tied? You have a better idea? Patience, Sakai. The Mongols will send men to find their missing patrol. When they open the gates, we strike. The longer we delay, the longer Tomoe remains in danger. She can take care of herself. Survey the battlefield. What can we use to our advantage? Those barrels could do some damage. We'll find out. Hornet nests. One shot could stir them up. Mongols will face the sting of insects and arrows. An arrow in those hanging lights will kick up sparks. <laughs> and start fires. They have many archers. They're skilled, but we are better. When the gates open, distract the enemy and rain arrows on their heads. Then we storm the fort. And free Tomoe. Good. Now we wait. They're opening the gates. Wait for my signal. Now, send them to their ancestors! Inside. Not for long. Let's find Tomoe.
You can do this.
Slain prisoners. Tied up. Killed with arrows. Tomoe isn't. Wait, this pendant belongs to her. Search the fort! Someone's personal quarters. A woman's kimono. Tomoe's kimono. The Mongols freed her. Why? Scroll. Archery terms with Mongolian translations. Your name is mentioned. She was teaching them my way of the bow. These arrows are Japanese. They're Tomoe's arrows. You are sure? I taught her to make the knock with deer horn. And that curve of the eagle feathers. So the Mongols took her weapons? The shots are tightly clustered. No Mongol shoots Japanese arrows with such skill. Huh. Then they allowed her to use a bow. Do you hear that? A survivor. Looking for a woman, an archer. The Mongols caged her with us. But they set her free, gave her armor and a bow. She killed my wife and the others. The bodies we found. She proved her skill to the enemy. And they recruited her. Please. It, it hurts. Don't leave me. I've seen enough. Let's go. I should have killed her. Sensei? Tomoe won her freedom. And she joined the Mongols. Why would she do that? What happened? I pushed her too hard. Mr. How? What are you hiding? Sensei! I demand an answer! She attacked me! Not bandits. Tomoe. Why? She has no idea what it means to be samurai. 
You drove her to the Mongols. Do not judge me. Do not lie to me. I can't let Tomoe teach my way of the bow to the enemy. Then we will stop her. This is my fight. I don't need your weapon. No, you need me. Victory is won by warriors, not weapons. Lord Shimura raised you well. We'll hunt them away together, but we do it my way. And when the time comes, you will help rescue my uncle. You have my word, Sakai. I will prepare to hunt Tomoe. When you are ready, meet me at my dojo. We can't rescue my uncle alone. I need more people to join our fight. Fine lady, Masako Adachi. If she's still alive, she's one of the finest warriors on the island. Alright, so that wraps up part three of the series. Um, we did have a couple struggles, but we got through it nonetheless. And um, thank you guys so much for stopping through and checking out the series. I truly appreciate it. The love, the support I've been getting both on and off social media. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, it is appreciated. And uh, I will see you guys for part four, which is currently in the works. Everywhere.